Hi Libra, this is your January 31st to February 6th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Star. We have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers with the, the Sun and uh, the Six of Wands. And we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini or another Libra or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, uh, this story could begin in so many different ways and I'll try to cover them in just a second. But the moral of the story, which I want to talk to you about right away, the moral of the story is you're choosing happiness. You're choosing happiness, you're choosing to be happy with this new person, no matter what the beginning of the story is, right? Um, and uh, it kind of feels like you're taking matters into your own hands, right? Because we've got Justice on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. Justice is your personal card, Libra. That's you. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading and especially on the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely the one in charge. You're definitely the one calling the shots. And uh, like I said, it kind of feels like you're taking matters into your own hands. Right, so we start off with the uh, Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Cups. So the Five of Pentacles, I believe this is your current uh, state of affairs, I guess. Uh, you're feeling kind of lonely, you're feeling miserable, you're feeling left out in the cold. And uh, here is where all these different uh, variants, different scenarios come in. You could be feeling this way in another relationship right now, right? Um, or you could be just feeling sad and lonely by yourself. You think that, uh, you know, all those failed relationships that you had in the past, um, you know, that's the way it's going to go moving forward with all new relationships. Um, or the Five of Pentacles, perhaps you had somebody new come in at some point in the past and you really wanted to move forward with this person, but perhaps your family would disapprove or your friends disapprove, they told you not to bother with this person and that's where you're feeling kind of sad that you can't be together with this person. So either way, you're taking matters into your own hands and uh, with the Eight of Cups clarifying that Five of Pentacles, this is you moving out of that energy, right? So for some of you, like I said, you could be getting out of a failed relationship now, you could be getting out of a toxic relationship with the Eight of Cups um, for others of you, <clears throat> you're just not going to be feeling lonely or sorry for yourself anymore, and uh, you're getting out of that uh, getting out of that state of mind with the Eight of Cups. And uh, for others of you, if you already were together with the person, or you were tried to be together with the person, you're just going to say, you know what? I don't care what you guys think. I'm still going to move forward with this person. Right, so then we have the star right next to the Five of Pentacles. The star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a wish come true. This is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So this new person coming into your life, they are your wish come true. Right, or like I said, um, if uh, you were already kind of talking to this person and uh, your friends or family disapproved, you, you will realize that, you know, Happiness is of the essence for you right now and uh, you're going to be happy with this person and don't care about other people's opinions. Then we have the Three of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. That's an amazing combo. The Three of Cups is a card of a union, it's a card of a celebration, it's a card of feeling great and the Two of Cups clarifying the Three of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of um, unconditional love, it's also a card of two people in love with each other. For some of you, it could be somebody you're meeting at the party or event or a gathering of some sort, right? So if you are invited to an event or a party or a gathering, do take all the necessary precautions considering what's still going on in the world, but do go. You could be meeting this person there, right? Um, for some of you, um, <clears throat> if you're invited to an Aquarius birthday party, I think you should go, right? Because like I said, the star is the um, Aquarius card and uh, we are in the middle of Aquarius birthday season, so like I said, the new person could be an Aquarius or perhaps you'll meet somebody at that birthday party, 
right? Um, in the potential outcome, we have the lovers with the, the sun and the six of wands. The lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or the lovers is a card of a choice, right? The lovers could be interpreted in many ways. So, like I said, the lovers is either a Gemini or the lovers is a choice. So, like I said, you're taking matters into your own hands and you're choosing happiness. You're choosing to be together with this person, right? The lovers is also a card of a soulmate connection, just like the Two of Cups, right? So this person is at least your soulmate. The lovers is also a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. Right? Then we got the sun right next to the lovers. The sun is the happiest card in the deck and that's the way this person is going to make you feel. Actually both of you are going to feel this way. And the six of ones right next to the deck is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of feeling great. Just like the three of cups in this particular case. Right? But um, back in the day the six of ones used to be called the proposal card. So don't be surprised if this person at some point proposes to you. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of this reading, no matter what your situation is, the moral, the moral of this story is for you to choose happiness, right? Together with this person, with the new person, right? So really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. Libra, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, um, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Libra, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Devil, clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Ooh la la, Libra. <laughs> Things are gonna get spicy, hot and spicy. Um, if uh, your significant other is a Capricorn, it makes total sense. If they're not, that's okay too. And I'm just gonna try to stay under the PG-13 radar, but you guys are gonna get really excited about something new the two of you wanna try. Some of you will have like a weekend getaway and uh, all of this is going to be just for the two of you. You know, you're going to lock the door, you're going to lock yourself in, lock yourselves in, and um, have some fun together. <laughs> right? Um, the 801's on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. It could be a card of travel, right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck could also be a card of travel. So, like I said, some of you are just going to say uh, to your mother or father or mother and father-in-law, you know, here are the children look after them over this weekend, we're, we're moving, we're going, don't call us, don't bother us, we want to have some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> Others of you, if you're not going anywhere, this is still all about trying new, exciting things, right? Uh, the devil in this case, if it's not a Capricorn you're yelling because the devil is the personal Capricorn card, then the devil together with the Ace of Wands, this is the two of you uh, getting busy behind closed doors, trying new things. And uh, I specifically clarified the devil with the ace of wands because I was wondering, you know, I had the, I had questions, right? And the ten of pentacles came out. So the ten of pentacles is your um, marriage or your committed relationship. So all of this is happening with your significant other. The nine of cups, the first card that came out, this is a card of a wish come true or a card of personal satisfaction. <laughs> You see? And uh, the Wheel of Fortune could also play out as a new cycle starting in your life. Perhaps you were, you guys were holding back, but now you want to try new things. Right? And uh, the Eight of Wands, if it's not a travel, it could be a communication between the two of you. So perhaps the two of you will be like communicating with each other about how you want to do it, what you want to do, where you want to go, and things like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's definitely something new with that Ace of Wands, something passionate with that ASO one, something exciting with that ASO one. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have Justice. We have the Sun, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Wands, clarified by Temperance. And we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's going to be up to you, Libra, what you want to do here. This person really wants you back. You made them happy. They finally realized that they were never as happy 
with anybody else as they were happy with you. Um, but it's going to be a tough decision, you know. Um, so, yeah, the first card I came out is Justice, that is your personal card, Libra, that's you. Then we have the Sun, clarified by the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, this is the person trying to get back into your good graces. Uh, they could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And uh, the Sun is uh, either the happiest card in the deck, so that's where I was getting that they realized that you were the best thing that ever happened to them, you made them happy. Or the Sun is all about clarity, so this person is still getting crystal clear that they want you back. The Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a good card to have. It's a card of a soulmate connection. So yeah, the two of you are still connected, right? And then we have the Ten of Wands, clarified by Temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or Temperance is all about healing, getting back together, bearing the hatchet, right? And the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. So yeah, it's going to be a tough decision on your part, um, Libra. But... um. You know, as I always say, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they'll do it again. But if they didn't, perhaps you can give them a second chance. So that's that's my two cents here. <laughs> so you can uh, use that as a as you're making up your mind, as you're making the decision. All right. Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra, this week. We have uh, the Nine of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have uh, the Two of Swords, qualified by the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. This is such a Libra spread, and I'm saying it with love. <laughs> but this week, you'll have a hard time deciding. Really, really hard time deciding. But, uh, you know, that's just the way you are, guys, right? Um, what's on the table is the Fool card, and it's... Um, a new beginning for you in this case. The Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. The Fool is, is a card of taking a risk. So for some of you, you could be thinking about leaving one job and starting a new job or leaving your, you know, quitting your nine to five and starting your own business. There's definitely something on the table, like an offer or an idea, but you're just a bit afraid or you don't know if you should pursue that new opportunity or pursue that new idea and that's why we've got the nine of swords and actually the remaining cards right the nine of swords this is you being a bit stressed out having anxieties about this new beginning about this offer the six of pentacles the next card over that is definitely you right the six of pentacles in this case is a card of a choice you see how the person standing up in the middle is hanging is holding up the scales and the scales as we all know is your sign Libra that's your indicator so that's you trying to make a decision and the two of swords clarified by the three of pentacles is pretty much the same thing as the uh, six of pentacles this is a card of a crossroads basically making a decision right it's clarified by the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is a card of a workplace environment team place team environment collaboration so I would just have to assume this is either your existing job or a new job or this is you thinking about starting your own business right so yeah this decision does involve you taking a risk with the full card but um, no risk no reward right Libra <laughs> well yeah perhaps you can do a research ask around and then make your decision based on uh, what you find out all right cool Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Libra. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, and we also have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Uh, what you're not expecting is a message from this King of Wands. Um, the King of Wands could be a fire sign, here is the Sagittarius. The Page of Wands right next to the King of Wands is the message. I don't know what your connection to this person is. Could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a business partner or somebody who wants to be a business partner with you, right? Because the King of Wands often comes through as somebody who is an entrepreneur, you know. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the first card I came out, uh, it could be a card of travel. So perhaps this person is back in town and they want to catch up. Or they want to get something off the ground with you, with that Wheel of Fortune, because the Wheel of Fortune could also be a card of a starting a new cycle. And like I said, it could be 
any area of your life that they want to start this cycle in. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck, this is uh, something you do not see coming. So that goes very nicely together with the name of the spread, right? Which, in, um, which you're not expecting. The High Priestess is uh, something you do not see coming right now. But uh, yeah, this King of Wands will be reaching out to you and uh, perhaps they want to catch up, grab a bite, grab a a cup of coffee or they may have uh, something more serious for you right so and that's what you're not expecting Libra and uh, that's what I got for you for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that Libra have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.